Now I want to look at two other examples of this fact that the horizontal and vertical motion don't affect each other. One is rolling a ball off of a table. So let's draw the floor here. And here's a table. So this is the legs and here's the tabletop. And that's not a great table. Let me see if I can fix it over here a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. So there's a table. And what we're going to do, we're going to imagine a ball up here. And you stand here, and you give it a push, and you let it roll. And obviously it just rolls along the table until it gets to the edge. Once it gets to the edge, the table's no longer supporting it. So it rolls off the edge, and it will do something like this. And while it's in free flight here, it's a projectile. Gravity is the only thing acting on it. And you could roll it at various speeds. If you rolled it really fast, it might go way over here as it came down. If you rolled it really slowly, it might barely fall off the edge. Now the point that I want to make here is that the horizontal motion as it leaves the tabletop doesn't affect the fall. It falls a certain distance downward here and whether it's rolling really fast or really slow it has a typical tabletop is about one meter tall so whether it's going really fast or really slow it has about one meter to fall and that height is going to determine how long it takes to get from the tabletop to the floor regardless of the horizontal motion in fact you can have this ball rolling and you could have one person standing here with another ball I'll draw this other one here a different color so no, let me make it blue. There's the blue ball and the yellow ball. Okay, so someone rolls the yellow ball off the table and this blue ball is being held here just off to the side. And right as the yellow ball leaves the table, the blue ball is dropped and allowed to fall straight down. What I'm claiming is that both will hit the ground at the same time. If you were to track them, the blue ball would be at this height when the yellow ball is right here and then the blue ball would be at this height when the yellow ball is right here and the blue ball would be at this height when the yellow ball is right here and the blue ball would hit the ground right when the yellow ball hit the ground over here the fact that it's moving to the right fast or slow doesn't affect the time that it takes to hit the ground if that blue ball is released right at the moment the yellow ball gets to the edge here and becomes a projectile then they both stay side by side one is moving to the right and one is moving straight down but the downward fall is the same for both of them the horizontal motion of the yellow ball in this case does not affect the time that it spins in the air or the time that it takes to fall that one meter the same thing applies to a bullet fired from a gun and this result is kind of surprising to a lot of people but if you imagine again we'll stand on the ground so let's draw some horizontal ground here so there's there's the ground and let's imagine you're standing here and you've got a bullet and you've got a gun and you're going to shoot a bullet out of the gun and you're going to shoot it horizontally and so the gun fires and this bullet comes out obviously moving very fast at the same time that bullet leaves the gun you take this bullet over here and you drop it and so it falls straight down well the bullet that's fired horizontally from the gun it's moving horizontally initially but gravity pulls it down and it moves down in a path that is a parabola a very wide parabola but it's a parabola and in real life this parabola would be really really wide it might be hundreds of feet wide so we can't see it all like we can here this would be a really slow bullet what I've drawn in real life this thing's going really fast and the downward arc is very small for a given horizontal distance now what I'm claiming 
is that gravity acts the same on both of them. Gravity will pull it, pull the bullet down and it will take a certain time to fall one meter to the ground and the same time for the other bullet to fall one meter to the ground. The horizontal motion of this bullet fired from the gun doesn't affect the pull of gravity or the time that it takes to fall. So they will hit the ground at the same time. If you fire the gun and release and release if you fire the bullet from the gun and let go of the other bullet at the same time and the ground is perfectly level then they'll hit the ground at the same time and that result is really pretty surprising to people. People think the bullet is going to sail through the air for a long time and it doesn't. It falls to the ground just as fast. You say, "Well, how does it how does it hit its target if it falls to the ground so fast?" Well, it moves horizontally at such incredibly high speed that it typically gets to its target before it has a chance to fall very far. But if you had a really wide area to do this experiment in, and if there were no aerodynamic effects on the bullet, you know, no wind or no um no push or pull generated from the airflow past the bullet. We have to neglect the air resistance for this to be um, a correct explanation. And if there were if there were no aerodynamic effects on the bullet, and if the ground were perfectly flat, then the bullet fired from the gun would hit the ground at the same time as the bullet that's dropped. And that is because the horizontal motion, even though it's really really fast, the horizontal motion is completely independent of the vertical motion.